Hello, my name's Victoria Healy and welcome to Not A Lot Of People Know That. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Each week, two teams battle it out to see who knows more about niche interests and weird hobbies. And if we can squeeze them in, contortionists. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're into, art faking, tart baking or cart making, chances are we're into it too. And here to help out, as always, are our two team captains, the niche interest, Neil Sinclair. <laughs> and the acquired taste, Alastair Trombley Birchall. <laughs> and joining Neil on his team, she's a rapper and a stunt woman. So if someone makes a bad joke, she'll take the fall. It's Zoe <laughs> Umlaut. <laughs> and joining Zoe, He's a comic who's been on community TV since he was 15 years old. He's Channel 31's Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> it's Sam Peterson. <laughs> and joining Alastair. She's a trained dancer and a professional improviser. And her day job is, uh, can I get a suggestion? Uh, <laughs> uh, what's an occupation? <laughs> uh, it's Michelle Nussie. <laughs> And finally, he's Melbourne's favourite 80s glam metal comic. With a profound love of the power ballad, it's Sweet Child O' Mine, Xander Allen. Yeah. <laughs> and now to our first round. If there's one thing that unites us all, it's our contempt for celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> and here at Not A Lot Of People Know That, we're going to continue the tradition by exposing their freakish hobbies to the general public. I like to imagine that Justin Bieber trains fighting dogs. <laughs> Jack White babysits Tamagotchis. <laughs> and Nicole Kidman sleeps preserved in glad wrap, like an open cheese. <laughs> in, this, <laughs> in this round entitled Kerry Ann Kennelly's Lavender Drapes, <laughs> our teams are given a famous person and a list of hobbies, one of which is that celebrity's real-life interest. So, Al's team, are you ready? Your celebrity is Ian Fleming, author of James Bond novels and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. So, is Ian's hobby A, bird watching, B, croquet, or C, cleaning and arranging daggers? <laughs> Well, he's British, so it's definitely going to be one of those three boring ones. Excellent. <laughs> Unless bird watching is like lady watching. Oh, yeah. Oh. And he was doing a bit of, you know, research for James Bond. Wasn't, yeah. Wasn't he um, gay, though? I think. Uh, I don't know, he, that whole he thing was married. With, with like Q and M and Bond, and it was all out there a bit. <laughs> Just me? All right. <laughs> Just me. <laughs> You know what, though? Apparently he and uh, Mrs Fleming were into a bit of the uh, in the bedroom. Ooh. Is what I've heard. So yeah. you're wow. thinking croquet? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Dagger arranging? Cleaning and arranging daggers. Cleaning and, like... Like, into people's bodies? <laughs> he was actually a spy himself once, wasn't he? Like yeah, he was in yeah. the service. I think that's what he. And I imagine, I don't know, just think croquet just fits. You know, he's. <laughs> <laughs> just... This is not what I was I... expecting well, you to say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what's your answer, guys? Um, I just really uh... like croquet. <laughs> All right, I, I, I like that Xander likes croquet. Yeah, I'm with that. Yeah. It sounds like a like a, a sort of like a, a food. Forget it. Cro croquet. <laughs> <laughs> that's your final answer, Al. Croquet. Yeah. You're incorrect. Oh. The answer is A, bird watching. We didn't even talk mm. about that. <laughs> Not a lot of people know that Ian Fleming chose the name James Bond from the author of a bird watching book. I wonder what book he got Pussy Galore from. <laughs> <laughs> Neil's team, you ready? Your celebrity is old man Kram Magar, Liam Neeson. So, is Liam's hobby A, Shouting at the night. <laughs> B, ping pong. Or C, fly fishing. I do love shouting at the night. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Is that actually a hobby, though, really? <laughs> <laughs> yes. For homeless people and really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> reckon it's fly fishing. I reckon that to unwind from his karamagari. Maybe <laughs> he goes in. I'm going to go, what about I think ping pong? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, ping pong. Do you reckon Liam Neeson plays ping pong? I think ping, ping pong's quite good. So I can imagine it? him playing ping pong. He's an answer? intense man though, isn't he? So it's like he would play No one would have played like, like, a, like a Korean. Like in the, like in the uh, Olympics. I was just like... He's like a Korean. I think. <laughs> <laughs> he would play ping pong like a Korean. Oh, Olympics. okay. Yeah, he's not like a Korean. No. no. So is that your final answer, guys? No, I'm going to go with you. Fair. All right. Okay, We're going to go fly fishing? Fly, fly fishing, yeah. You are correct. Yes. <laughs> Glad I went with you, so dog on that one. Yeah. The answer is C, fly fishing. Not a lot of people know that Liam Neeson once caught a fish's daughter, but that fish had a very particular set of gills. <laughs> <laughs> and the scores after that round. Al's team is on zero, uh, but Neil's team is on one. The next game is called The Reason That Not A Lot Of People Know That is because it may or may not be true. In this round, one member of each team will claim that they have a particular hobby or interest. It's up to the other team to determine if they're telling the truth. So, Xander, besides being a metalhead, what are you into? Uh, Native American history. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> so, Neil's team, do you think he's telling the truth? Has that got anything to do with the leaves tattooed on your arm? Mm. Um, no. <laughs> Just short answer there, no. Native Americans and leaves? Yeah, a lot of cultures have trees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't like them as much as the Native Americans do. They like trees, what, don't what they? What's that based on? <laughs> oh, sorry, you're on my team, but seriously. <laughs> Has it got anything to do with the hat you're wearing? Ooh. Why is my fashion thing? <laughs> Just everything Try about it. him is screaming Native American. Yeah. What, what about it do you like, the Native American culture? What's your favourite bit? The fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favourite tribe? Oh, the, the Sioux. The Sioux, they're good. They got Custer. You've got to respect that, because Custer was a bit of a dick. <laughs> so, guys, we're going to have to get an answer soon. Do you think he's telling the truth? No. He likes leaves. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think he is. I yeah. think he's a trustworthy man. Okay, one more Iron question. Maiden, one Iron more Maiden question. song about Native Americans. What one? Run to the Hills. <laughs> yeah, OK. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> so, yeah, so what do you, what do you I reckon, actually, Zoe? I think he's lying now. <laughs> like, I, I, think, think, I think you are. So, no, no, no. Can I, can I talk you through why I think this? Because yeah. before, when we asked him a question about Native Americans, he'd be like, hmm, and he'd tell us. But when you asked the Iron Maiden question, because we know he's into metal, he's just like, bam, bam. straight up. That's mm. good. Mm. Yeah, no, you're lying. So, we so like you're music. Lying. Yeah, you're no, he's lying. Line. Well, uh, it's true. Xander oh. is a Native American I'm history. <laughs> Not a lot of people know that Xander's great 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 grandfather was big hair, blows in wind. <laughs> <laughs> so, Zoe, what's your interest? My interest is synchronised skydiving. <laughs> so, what? Al's team, what? do you think she's telling the truth? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just because it would be so freaking hot if that's true. Yeah. I, I want to believe it. <laughs> Wait. Is, is skydiving really attractive though, with all the wind and the... <laughs> yeah, Actually, yeah, the it does flapping. make you feel very... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> true, true, look at that face. Do you, you think just... that's hot still? Yeah, <laughs> even more so. How many times have you gone skydiving? Um, in total? Yeah. Mm, between 40 and 50. You have, to do, you have to do 10 dives to get your like accreditation ticket thing, but um, to actually become a synchronised skydiver, like to do the actual sport, you need to be like very experienced and so I didn't even get into it until after I'd had my ticket for a couple of years and just met some people who did it and I was like yes I want to try that that sounds amazing it's, so, it's sort of like the group sex of skydiving <laughs> yeah yeah you guys are trying so hard to make this hot <laughs> <laughs> I respect it <laughs> um, all right what do you call the shoes that you wear when you're doing it uh, you don't have to wear particular shoes well, yeah, she knows. <laughs> so when, when you say it's a sport, are there like competitions or is there like a Victorian team or how does there, it...? Well, there is a Victorian team, that's the one that I used to be in. Um, but not many people do it in Australia. There are competitions, but in Australia there aren't heaps. There's a few at um, 
Amberley in Queensland that we went up to a few times and because I was only a sub in the team I only ever got to actually compete twice <laughs> but yeah there are competitions just not many you have to sort of go overseas but I was never that sort of into it it's very expensive to do so I think we have our answer she's too genuinely a good person to be, <laughs> to be lying about this and make they're the people up. that get away with it <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So I need an answer, guys. What do you reckon? Do you think she's telling the truth? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She got me on the shoes. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she, it's true. Well, it's actually a false. Oh! 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 I don't know anything about skydiving. Sneaky. I've never been skydiving in my life. I if wanted I'm... so much to believe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If it helps, I ride a motorbike. That does help. That does help a little bit. Um, if you could just uh, give us your digits. <laughs> and the scores after that round. Alistair's team still on zero. Neil's team on one. Great. Great. Fun. We'll get him. We'll get him.